Sponsorship of football trophies is today seen as just another regular part of football. Whether it's the Skybet EFL, the Emirates FA Cup or the Carabao Cup, the corporate overlords have clearly decided that it is a worthwhile venture to sponsor not just a team, but the actual competition itself. This idea, in English football at least, goes back to the 1970s at the very earliest, with competitions like the Texaco Cup, which was a competition between British and Irish teams which hadn't qualified for Europe. However, the first major competition to be sponsored in England happened in the early 1980s, when in 1982, the League Cup, or Carabao Cup today, became the Milk Cup. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I thought it too. Who is Milk? What company is Milk? What does Milk sell? Is it milk as in actual milk, like cow's milk that you would drink? Well, shocking as it might seem, Yes, milk, as in the milk you drink, decided to sponsor the League Cup. The obvious follow-up question is, who owns milk? Well, the sponsorship was made by the Milk Marketing Board, which was created after the implementation of the Agricultural Marketing Act in the 1930s to promote agricultural products. Basically, the law was made so the farmers could come together and elect people for the marketing board to help sell their products. And apparently, the Milk Marketing Board saw football as a golden opportunity, as the same company made the infamous Accrington Stanley, who were they advert, just a couple years after sponsoring the League Cup. Milk! Ugh! It's one of Ian Rush drinks. Ian Rush? Yeah, and he said if I didn't drink lots of milk, when I grow up, I'm going to be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley! Who are they? Exactly! However, all of this did make me wonder what the real purpose of advertising is. Who is unaware of milk? What human being in the 1980s had not heard of milk? You might think this is a bit of a joke, but the same logic could also be applied to many of the biggest companies that exist today. Companies like McDonald's or Coca-Cola you might think are as big as milk, where they wouldn't need to advertise anymore, and yet they still use a lot of money to try and get their name out there. So like milk, why would they bother? Well, I'm by no means a marketing expert, but as far as I can tell, it has to do with keeping your product in the forefront of people's minds. So, for instance, whenever they think about getting something to eat, sure, they know of McDonald's, but they might just think, oh, I'll get a McDonald's without even knowing why that is their choice. But the reason could be that it was at the front of their minds because they saw an advert. So Milk went on to sponsor the League Cup throughout the early and mid 80s, creating perhaps the strangest sponsored cup name of all time. And that is just a little bit of football history. Thanks for watching.